Dramatic artist and literary rights organization Dalro is an agency that looks after the copyrighted work of creative people. These include authors, actors and artists. Established in 1966, the aim was to ensure that artists' works were not abused or overused without the artist's permission and ensuring that the artist is paid their dues for the use of their work, from which Dalro extracts a reasonable fee for the service. Dauro says it represents artists whose works have either been published, exhibited or sold and says a failure to register with a reputable company to guard one's copyright means a potential loss of significant income. They leave a lot of money on the table. So the users generally don't go out looking for the artists. They use what they need to use because of time, because of pressure. And then when they come to us, unfortunately, if we don't represent that artist, we have to tell them that we don't. And therefore, they go away. They don't try to find the artist. If we do represent the artist, then we'll collect and uh, give the artist the money. So the danger is that if you are not represented by either us or someone else of, of a professional nature, then you're not going to be compensated for the use of your work, generally speaking. Dalro is currently facilitating the Motions and Motives Group Art Exhibition at its gallery in Bramley, Johannesburg. It's the combined works of artists who've been nurtured by the Blessing Ngubeni Art Prize Foundation, giving artists a platform to gain greater exposure. What's inspirational about the artworks that are presented here today is that they come from different artists in different stages of their career, from Blessing Ngubeni, who is behind me, to Sizani Baloi, who is a very young emerging artists in this space where Dauro has given which Dauro has given to us we are all equals so there's no hierarchy that is set for the, the artists that are being represented by Dauro under the copyright laws of South Africa and that's why there's such a huge variety of mediums there's a huge variety of gender fluidity in the space as well one of the artists whose works were on display was Treasure Mlima. He says being a registered member of Dauro means he doesn't need to worry so much about the commercial side of his creations, giving him more time to focus on the art itself. He also admits that the life of an up-and-coming artist isn't easy, as one has to do what they must to make ends meet. Because we in South Africa and the economy is tight, uh, I do now bring balance to having an actual 9 to 5 and then also uh, uh, pursuing my art career. So it's actually more work but it's necessary because of the circumstances we currently find ourselves in. The Blessing Ngubeni Art Prize Foundation has existed for a number of years. Its purpose, to do its bit to incubate and grow young artists into sustainable artists. The Blessing of Any Art Prize uh, provides a platform for emerging artists. Uh, so it gives a residency and then through the residency they host workshops that help uh, guide the artists about professional conduct, creating quality works, um, international relations, but then like within the art industry. So we basically give a platform to emerging artists to break through into like the professional uh, practice and then just guide them as well. While good work is being done to elevate young artistic talent in some quarters, Lazarus Sirobe lamented the current copyright amendment bill currently sitting in President Suramaposa's pile of bills to be signed into law, which has been rejected by members of the arts as they view it as a piece of legislation that will subtract economic power from artists, not add to it. Nampumela Losiziba SABC News, Johannesburg.